Hey everyone, Everett here. Welcome to my new channel. This channel is going to be called Flying Ollie Style. I do have another channel called Retired Life Ollie Style, where me and my wife do traveling adventures, cruising, Disney, and RVing. This channel is going to be all about drones. I just recently received my FAA Part 107 drone license, so I want to sh share my experience with the test and how I prepared. So, for my first video, let's get into it. morning so I am on my way to a testing center to take my part 107 FAA commercial drone remote drone pilot license I'm nervous as a cat um, I've been studying for quite a while I took an online course um, because this is all new for me and I needed to start from scratch so I did my research and I found a great um, online course. Um, it was a paid course um, and I'll talk more about that later. Um, but right now my focus is on this test. I'm on my way, so let's get there and I will keep you informed and updated of my results. Send me the good vibes, good juju, prayers, whatever it takes. Um, I wanna pass this thing. All right, so we'll see. We'll see you there. Okay, so I have arrived. I made sure this was the correct location. Follow the GPS, and it's right inside back here at that building. I hope you can see. So we'll see. So I am here. Fingers crossed. So I'm going to take my time. I'm going to go over all the questions, and hopefully I can come out of here with a passing grade and then I will be hopefully good to go. All right, so we'll see you and um, I'll let you know. So I am happy to report I am all done with the test and I have passed. I passed with an 85%. I was hoping for 90, but I'm not getting greedy. Yes, 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 yes. I passed. My part 107 drone remote pilot. I am now a certified commercial drone pilot, small UAS drone pilot. Yes, I will celebrate and I am so happy. It's like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. And let me just tell you this, the test is not easy if you some people think they're just gonna sign up and take it without looking at anything studying anything i don't really don't care what you study but you need to study unless you're a pilot and know this stuff because it was not difficult i mean it was not easy it was difficult and like most tests i've taken in the past you know the questions are usually straightforward they don't try to trip you up this in my opinion they try to trip you up the wording, the different answers, they ask things in different ways. It is, you really have to pay attention. I actually finished the test and I went over it. Didn't change very many answers. I only changed like two or three that I was kind of unsure of. <coughs> they give you two hours to take the exam. I had 18 minutes left in that two hours. I really took my time, but now I am elated. It is time to go home and it is time to celebrate. So I will, Pause it here, but I'm gonna explain more about this FAA Part 107 exam. So, yes, it is done. Thank you. And I am here today to talk to you about my experience with the FAA Part 107 SUAS exam. First things first, get out the way, I passed. But you all know that because in the beginning footage, beginning clip, I showed you going to, I showed you myself going to the exam, uh, after the exam and coming back. So I thought I would just kind of sit down for a couple of minutes and talk about my experience and if anybody can take anything away from this um, to help them out. If they're going to take the exam, well then I feel better for it or good for you. 
Okay, so actually the second thing is I'd like to introduce my new channel. I already have a channel on YouTube and it is called Retired Life Ollie Style. And it, it's, a, it's a travel channel about our, my wife and I. We, we RV, we love going to Disney, um, and we do uh, some cruising. Um, so with that being said, I decided to start another channel um, about drones. Um, my wife's not really into drones, she could really care less, but I, I'm into drones and I kind of, um, you know, it, it, it kind of interests me. Did a lot of research about all the different types of drones and then I started seeing things about um, if you put video up on YouTube, you may need to have a license because if you get monetized, which my channel is not, um, then you could be in trouble with the FAA. So I researched it and I decided to go ahead and take the FAA Part 107 um, exam. Now, I watched YouTube videos, but that's not how I really studied. Um, I watch YouTube videos about other people's experience taking the FAA exam. And because I'm an older person, um, I knew nothing. It's been a long time since I've been in school and had to study. I know nothing about aviation. I know nothing about uh, airspace and weather and how to read charts and airports and signals and beacons and runways and all that. Um, I decided to take a course. Now, I took a course called Pilot Institute. And the instructor's name is Greg. And I cannot pronounce his last name, so I'm not going to try. I don't want to mess it up. Sorry, Greg, but I will put uh, his name down here for you. Um, but yeah, I took Pilot Institute, which I, I researched. I saw um, a Drone University. I saw Pilot Ground School, uh, Pilot 101, all these different schools. And I decided to go with Pilot Institute. Uh, one, because they got a lot of good reviews. Um, on YouTube and on, on Google, so I decided to go with them. And the price is not bad. Their price was $149, I'll put it up there, and um, that's for lifetime membership. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more about that in a second. But I did pass, and I got a certificate from Pilot Institute. I hope that you guys can see that. Um, the course, was $149 like I said and they have a challenge that you can do one hour a day and complete the course in 14 days I did not do that I took my time I did the videos and it's all taught online and it's, and it's it's videos Greg is the instructor and he goes through every single thing that you need to know I had books on top of books on top of books um, for my notes this is just a sampling of my one of my notes here that I had taken. Um, all this is filled with notes. I also, Pilot Institute recommends getting the uh, Pilot's uh, Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge or otherwise known as PHOC. And this booklet here is very important. They recommend that you get this is the Airman Knowledge Testing Supplement for Sport Pilot, Recreational Pilot, Remote Pilot, and Private Pilot. 2021. Now I wasn't going to get this, but I'm really, really glad I did. Also, this supplement here, this is the supplement that you're going to get um, when you take your exam. Um, this supplement has all the charts in it. Uh, it's got the, the METARs, uh, the, the, all, everything that you need. Like you see here, it has uh, sec sectional charts. So when you get your exam, it might, it might ask you to turn to uh, let's see, it might ask you to turn to, uh, it might ask you to turn to figure 26 sectional chart and find an airport, find the elevation, uh, find towers or find anything that they're asking you. So if I did not have this, I would not have been familiar with this book, but I had this and when I was taking the practice exams, I was able to use this and get very, very familiar um, with what's in this booklet and how to use it, where to find it, so that kind of saved me some time. So that's just another little tip. Uh, for, for you guys, if you want to go, it's not much. I think this book is like 15 bucks, um, and it, it just helped me out taking my exam. Pilot Institute, also, I caught it on sale. Now I have two other courses that I can take included with my 149 price, and that is um, Mastering Drone Maneuvers, and there is another one. Um, I kind of lost my train of thought, so I will, again, I'll have to put it down here in the video, uh, and I'll let you know what that other course was. I don't know if they're still running that, that special right now, but I got three courses for the 149, and the first one was called um, uh, Part 107 Made Easy, 
I'll give it thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up all day long. Greg, the instructor, is fantastic. Uh, he knows what he's doing. He has a, uh, I think he has a master's degree in aeronautical science. He has, um, uh, he, he is a pilot himself, and he is a drone pilot, and he runs this this drone drone school. Um, I apologize for the noise, so I guess I'm gonna have to take a break because they're actually doing um, the uh, one these guys are here and uh, doing that thing. So I'm not gonna stop them. So I'll check right back with you in a minute. Oh, sorry about that interruption. So, just to make a long story short, I took the online course with uh, Pilot Institute and I don't think I could have passed the test um, without them. Um, Greg goes over everything you need to know from weather theory to weather services to airport operations to um, airspace um, to uh, categories of uh, drones to, to night uh, flying, everything that you need to know to pass this test um, to sectional charts and, and things of that nature. Now, why I think it's good, instead of just cramming and learning um, or, or memorizing, I should say, from the YouTube, from other YouTube videos, that's great if it works for you, but for me, I really wanted to learn. So I had a good concept of everything um, before I went into the um, exam. So if there were questions I was not sure of, I could actually go ahead and uh, figure it out um, as far as sectional charts and weather. I have a, a good working knowledge. And just my opinion, I think uh, with all these drones up in the sky, I think that um, people um, should be as safe as we possibly can. And sure, are there going to be people that are just reckless and go out there and not get their license or not learn anything and just fly to whatever heights that they want? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, you're never going to change that. But I'm going to be as safe as, as I can possibly be, and I'm hoping that other pilots will be uh, as responsible. Um, so. After taking the course and finishing the course, I had a little bit of a break. Um, we went on, on an RV trip actually for about a week, week and a half. When I came back, I kind of lost some of the knowledge. So I went back over some of the things that I wasn't sure of and redid some of the uh, classes that Greg was giving. Because again, once you purchase this, you have it for life. So even when you do your recurring uh, 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 training, you can refresh yourself uh, through the course. So. Now I scheduled the exam. I have a lot of anxiety about this test. Remember, I said it's been a long time since I've taken an exam. So, and this test is not cheap. Now I paid $149 to take the online course, um, which was well worth it. Um, then I, you have to pay $170 to take the exam. You have to go online to this company called PSI and you have to make an account and you have to schedule yourself for an exam. It's not just show up and take it whenever you want. So I scheduled the exam, I'm going over things and I have a lot of anxiety, probably drive my wife crazy. She didn't want to hear any more about testing or drones or uh, weather or clouds or anything, anything like, like that. So on the morning that I go into the test, um, I, again, had a lot of anxiety. Uh, but as you saw from earlier, I passed, um, and I was okay with that. Um, well, I was more than okay with that. I was elated. I was very, very excited. My experience with the test was there were, um, I, I was well prepared by taking the online course. I don't want this to be an information. They are not sponsoring me, nothing at all like that. I just am grateful that I took this course and I passed my test. Um, but the actual exam is very regimented. You go in, you cannot bring anything in with you. You cannot bring in a uh, cell phone. You can't bring your own writing utensils. You can't bring any notes or anything like that. Um, basically, everything that you have, your wallet, your, your phone, anything else goes into this red bag. They zip it and lock it and it goes in with you and you put it on the back of your chair and you take the exam. You are allowed to bring a calculator. It cannot be a scientific calculator. It cannot have any memory. You are allowed to bring a magnifying glass, which again, I'm extremely glad that I did use uh, bring a, a magnifying glass because those sectional charts have a lot of very small uh, detail on it and um, I was able to see it a little easier. And you are allowed to bring a ruler. Now, once you go in, they give you a code. You go in, you sit down, you put your code into that computer and your test pops up. You have two hours to take this exam. Um, I finished in about, um, I guess about a 
an hour and a half, hour and four minutes. I still had like 18, 20 minutes to go. Um, so I decided to go over everything and just go over some of the uh, questions that I wasn't really sure of. And I think I changed like two or three answers. Now I'm not going to get into um, what was on the test, what was not on the test, because everybody's test is going to be different. The FAA does that. I will say this, you do need to study. Unless you are an exceptionally smart person, I uh, think you can go in there without studying anything, um, you're going to be fooling yourself. The FAA, this is not like I've been in the military uh, for my uh, previous employment. We used to have to do a lot of qualification, test taking, things like that. And it's basically just standard tests that really don't try to, to trip you up. This test tries to trip you up. They actually word things different. There were a couple of items on there that I really didn't even know. I mean, I knew it, but I was like, well, why is it worded like that? So they, you have to be very careful. Take your time and go over each question. Um, that would be my best advice to you. Then when you're done, um, you have to do a survey about the testing center, about the, the proctor that, that is there. And then once you're all done with that, they, I thought they were going to give you the your score. No, they tell you to go outside and go see the proctor. Now, I guess the proctor gets it on their uh, uh, computer. They give you the, the, the sheet of paper, which um, I've already showed you. Um, they give you this. It has codes of what questions that you missed. So you can go on the FAA website and kind of see the areas um, that you missed. Um, I scored an 85%, which I was happy with. You need a 70 minimum to score. I was hoping to get into the 90s, but I think I kind of tripped myself up a little bit, but I'm happy with an 85. Um, I, I'll, I'll take that any day of the week. Um, they give you that piece of paper. Then you have to come home or wherever you go. You get on a computer and you go into IACRA, which is another uh, FAA site. You have to register on IACRA, then you want to apply for your license. And your exam sheet of paper there has your test code on it. Um, you put that code in, and then it only took me about maybe three to four days. And then on my account, I had my temporary um, license, and I'm still waiting for my permanent license to come in the mail. And they say that can take anywhere from up to a month, as much as long as two months. Um, so I did my, I took my test November the 1st, uh, today is November the 15th, it took me about three to four days to get my temporary um, that I printed out and I have, and you're good to fly. Once you have your temporary license, you are good to take your drone up in the air for any commercial work or YouTube or if you're monetized or whatever, you, whatever you're going to do. And once you get the regular license, it's going to come in the mail and it's going to look like a, uh, like a driver's license, okay? Um, and then that is going to be your permanent license. Now you will be good to go for two years. Every 24 months, you now have to do a recurrent training test that you can do online. You do not have to do it in person. Um, just trying to make sure I cover all bases. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That was my experience and I'm still, even though this is like two weeks later, 14 uh, days later, I'm still kind of coming down because I'm really, really, really excited about passing um, my part 107 uh, exam and I just can't wait for the permanent one to come I am now shopping around for um, a newer drone or new drone I don't know if I'm going with DJI, DJI Autel or whatever but I'm doing a lot of research um, on, on those things so if you have any questions if you have any comments please put them down below again this is a new channel that I'm going to putting to be putting this up on and it is called flying Ali style F L Y I N Ollie Style, O L L I E S T Y L E. So that's it. There we have it. Good luck to anybody out there that has taken their test or in, in the process of getting ready to take take their exam. Um, good luck, and um, we'll see you in more drone videos. See you. So hey everyone, very fast update. I finally received my actual physical license in the mail December the 24th. Remember, I took the exam November the 1st. I got my temporary license about three or four days later. And then December 24th, I received the actual license in the mail. So that was my experience about how long it takes. So hope you guys have a good experience as well. Any comments, let me know down below. And we'll see you next time.